My name is Heidi Fell, and this video is to show you the basics of running a patient list. So first of all, when we're on our main wolf screen, we open practice search by clicking on the item at the top of the screen. Once our screen opens, you'll notice that if you're a physician that your name is already here uh, and so you can just go ahead and run a search by pressing on this show search result as a list button. Now because uh, of confidentiality reasons I have to pretend that I'm a staff member and run a different doctor's list. So if you're a staff member with the appropriate privileges when you come in here this search all patients button is already clicked for you and I have to go into the demographics list on the left hand side and choose primary MD. So at this point I can either type in the top box and hit enter or I can just choose from the bottom list if you have a short or small number of uh, physicians within your clinic. So once I've chosen the physicians list that I want to look at I then go up and run my search by pressing on this button. So you can see here that I receive four patients. Uh, hopefully your list is significantly longer, but this is just a test uh, set of patients. And you can see that they're listed in alphabetical order here. Their uh, name, gender, age, date of last visit, and the attending MD that they're assigned to is shown. Now you can click on any of these columns in order to sort them. So if you wanted to sort by age, for example, you could click to find all of, have all of your uh, most elderly patients at the top. Okay. If you need additional columns in this view, and I like to have cell phone number and PHN and that sort of thing uh, viewable usually, so you go into the view menu, you can say column options. You can see here that I can choose add and I want to add some contact information. So I can scroll down to find contact information. Choose contact information and I can add their cell phone number to my list. Okay. Similarly, if I want to add PHN, I can just scroll down and choose PHN. Okay. Now, if I add these to default, I add them to all my searches and since I prefer to see this information in all my searches, I'm going to do that. If I press OK, you'll notice that now I've expanded the number of columns that I can see. Uh, but as these are test patients, I may not see real information for them. One other neat trick about this is that you can view your panel list in a pie chart. So if you want to click on the pie chart button rather than the list button, you can see your patient panel in a pie chart. And the neat thing about this is that you can then go click on one of the segments of the pie chart and it will show you which patients fall into that pie chart. So you can see here that the age breakdown is uh, strange because they're test patients, but it will show you the age breakdown. You can also go into the basics here and sort by gender. So all four of the test patients happen to be female. And I can go in and sort by smoking. So I could see all of the one that's listed as a smoker here. So if I wanted to target an intervention of my smokers. And I can also sort by uh, my drinkers. And I suspect because of the test database that we're not seeing any data on that. You can also look at societal factors if you have entered those into your EMR as well. So once again, just to recap, generally you go in and if you're a physician, you hit the list button. If you're a staff member, you have to go to demographics and choose which physician's list you want to run, and then you can go ahead and run it. Watch other videos for other tips on how to use this list further.